Hello and welcome to the latest video from Bicycling Australia. Today's mission is to convert this Bianchi XR3 disc into an absolute superbike. In the back of the van, I have a box with the latest Campagnolo Super Record 12 speed flat mount disc group set. That is going on to this Bianchi and a few of the other tricks and treats that we have. We're heading up to Gids, uh, just north of Sydney. Uh, I'm gonna drive up there now and we have a really exciting day in store. Enjoy the video. First of all, Gids, so good to meet you. And Pleasure this to meet you, mate. home workshop is something else, mate. Just tell us a little bit about it. Uh, well, I've been a professional uh, cycle mechanic for 25 years, uh, trained in the UK, and I've uh, been living in Australia for nearly 15 years now. Um, used to work for Trek Bicycles Australia and Clarence Street and when I moved up to the Upper North Shore decided to start my own small business. Nice. So what's the main, the bulk of your work? Oh, I hate using the term but uh, I deal with an awful lot of mammals. Yeah. The phone's always ringing. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. yeah nice. I, I seem to uh, you better get be that. fairly popular. Nice. Now this is what we're working with today. It's a Bianchi XR3. It's currently fitted with Shimano Altegra disc. Um, it's a new bike being reviewed for Bicycling Australia. And what we're about to do is install a couple of things. Well, first of all, these Eastern 470 uh, carbon handlebars, carbon aero bars are going onto the bike. But most importantly, we are putting on Campag Nolo Super Record 12 speed flat mount disc. I'm gonna take this down to Git and we're gonna film the, uh, the build process. So you, you work on quite a few Bianchi bikes? I do. Yeah. Um, the history of the firm, the oldest continuous bike firm. Um, I've always had a penchant for Italian design. You know, they are truly beautiful bikes. Campag, beautifully designed, yeah, yeah. wonderfully efficient, very light, very stylish, and um, I can't think of a more deserving bike to pop it on. Yeah, nice, yeah, looking forward to riding it. Uh, we've uh, just put a little bit of carbon assembly compound in there to make sure everything's nice and snug. We don't want anything slipping. So the build begins with all the Campag neatly laid out here in the uh, the workshop, and Kid is uh, just threading the cables through. All about aero these days, Kid. Not like the old days where no. cables could hang loose. <laughs> I was going to say it's very different. Hey. When they design this stuff, they never think of the mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> coming together nicely good what, yeah uh, now you see the advantage of the liners exactly no messing around you can just run them down through the frame so i'm just installing uh, a little bit of a cable liner to ensure that the inner cable runs smoothly through the bottom bracket cable guide and doesn't collect okay. as much of the dirt and grime I'd recommend you Is use that right? on their components, yeah. Really? Okay. And just to ensure a long and smooth running bottom bracket bearings, just a little bit inside the cups to help keep the water out. 
With um, most of the press fit systems, I have a preference for using a medium strength bearing retainer. Mm -hmm. I find that uh, it secures the bottom bracket cups and um, stops any creaking you know, that comes along. And I know they've been installed correctly. Glorious piece of equipment. little magnets on the pads. No need for silly springs. What are you thinking, Gid? I'm thinking that's one of the easiest brake systems I've had to bleed to date. Is that in right? 20 years of messing around with hydraulic brakes. Wow. It's um it's a joy. It. What 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 is your number one tip for for people that are thinking about putting on their bar tape? Just start at the bottom, take your time, and try and keep your wrap even. Okay. Yeah. I think my number one tip is to come and see someone like you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Greatly appreciated. So there you have it guys, it's a Ultra XR3 CV, a disc version, flat mount disc, and as you see we've fitted Super Record, Campagnolo Super Record 12 speed to this bike, building it up into a super bike. I think it is actually just so much, almost as good as an XR4, and obviously about half the price, or even less than half the price. Um, it's got Eastern bars, carbon 470 bars on it. And as Kid said, it really is a work of art. It's just a masterpiece. We're very happy with it. Enjoy the riding. It's fine.